everybody. I'm Dr. Randall George Gonzalez, the Bounce Back Blind Guy, and welcome to Enlightened Lifestyle Medicine. This is your Elm Stop for Optimal Wellness. Let's get it on. Hey, we've uh, covered uh, some of the, the pillars of wellness in my uh, previous videos, and uh, what we've touched on uh, nutrition and whole food wellness, mental wellness, emotional wellness, and today, physical wellness. That's right, using your body, and we're gonna use that E-word, exercise. Uh, how many of you do that? Uh, everyone's so busy in our um, modern world, we're trying to get somewhere, trying to get home, and do whatever uh, the job is, whatever it takes, and hours fit or by, and we never quite use our bodies anymore. But uh, what peer-reviewed studies have shown is that uh, physical exercise does improve fitness, improve wellness, and works uh, together uh, with your thoughts and your spirit. So physical exercise does work, and it does enhance life, and it does uh, uh, promote long life uh, in, in a very healthy way. Now here, so is uh, exercise, all right, too much or too little? You can't exercise too much because uh, uh, with exercise, it is stress. But like we talked about earlier, and we will talk uh, more so in the future, is that stress can be a good thing. Okay, uh, If it's managed well, and uh, if your body can use that to promote health. Uh, so uh, things that might be uh, uh, either too much exercise or too much stress, uh, if your body uh, cannot handle it, is... Uh, uh, when the run is, uh, you know, a mile, two, or three, or if it's 30, okay? You m could possibly run for 30 miles but and, and do that daily, but you'll, you'll have to look at, you know, what the uh, it takes to recover from something like that, a prolonged, uh, you know, run and doing it every day <clears throat> and not being uh, able to fully recover, uh, you know, physically from that and that, that depletes your, your stores of nutrients in your body. Uh, it taxes your mind because it's tiring and it may affect your sleep. Okay. So exercise, uh, if, if, as a general rule, and it all varies with individuals, have fun. Okay. Uh, do it in groups, that's also fun. Have something in mind because you know, there's different forms of exercise. Uh, some could be you know, your resistance training, you know, which the guys like. Okay. Uh, and, and more so uh, women are taking that up too because more muscle means better health because muscle is made of bulk. You don't have to be really bulked out, but more muscle means better circulation okay, and uh, better, better organ functions and better hormonal function. Okay. There's yoga, there's uh, oh, uh, Pilates, there's dancing, okay. there's walking. <laughs> And, uh, you know, a lot of these things are free, and uh, this goes right along with uh, deep breathing meditation, and that in itself creates better health when you start taking deeper breaths and all. But today, we're talking about exercise. Uh, you have to do some. It doesn't have to be traditional. Uh, it could be done at your house, but a lot, a lot of movement, that there's a lot of bending uh, of the knees and bending of the back, forward to the sides and to the back. Okay, and, and do it well, but do it every day. And try to get your heart rate up and to just move your body a lot because uh, as opposed to where we are now in 2019 to 1919 to 1819 to, to 2000 years ago, the more you use your body like it's supposed to, okay, the more lovely your life will be. Use your body. Use that exercise world, go do it. The, the more you do it, the better. And uh, add that to what we've already discussed with uh, eating clean, whole, natural foods. Okay. Uh, having you know, a very clear mind and calm mind where it's uh, more positive thoughts than not. And having uh, positive emotions back up your positive thoughts. And guess what? We're on our way to living well and your wellness is very high up down on that scale, but let's do more. Uh, <clears throat> check us out next week. We're going to get into spiritual wellness. 
because I believe a lot of you have become disconnected and why many of you are unhappy. And uh, by the way, they, they all work together. And like I said before, just like all the God laws, uh, the, the eight pillars of uh, wellness uh, are all related and you can't tell where one starts and one stops because they all relate to one each other, uh, to each other and uh, they, they cause the other to either decrease or increase. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, th this is uh, the, the, the 1st of July and uh, on, on the 3rd I'm, I'm having uh, a, another show on the Pyramid One Network uh, in my radio show, Be The Change. And this time it's going to be on medications, drugs. Yes, right. And most of you take them. Drugs. You say, oh, that's medicine. No, it's not. It's drugs. Okay. And we're going to talk a lot about that and uh, what you need to know to maximize what you're taking and why. And if you can get all that from food. Tune in, won't you? I'm Dr. Randall George. This is the Wine Guy. Check you out next time.